Hello everyone, this is Nagarajan. In last video, we have seen about XPath. Today, we are going to see about CSS selector. Okay, let's begin. I've opened up our demobrace.com website. Okay. See, you could see in this uh, left pane, right? Uh, this is category is a list. Under this category, we have uh, phones, laptops, and uh, monitor. We'll try to access uh, these elements using CSS selector. Okay. Let me inspect this element so that you can see. So I am trying to see this particular list group class. Under this uh, list group class, we have uh, four different uh, href links, right? So we'll try to uh, refer this particular element. In uh, dev class, this is the syntax which we can access the particular uh, dev using faces. Now, you can list uh, the number of elements. See, I have uh, used list classical cla list group for a class. Okay, now it is referring four different elements. Right. If we want to access a second element, example uh, phone phones right so how do we refer a particular second element for that we will have to give the nth child of this so when you put two it will refer the second element when you get three it will refer the laptop third element okay so this is by this way we can refer a corresponding the child of it so this class equal to list group acts as a parent and we are referring the child with using nth child and we can also refer using n of type i'll show you if you if we give like this this will also fetch you the child of it nth element the nth of type 1 refers to first element, nth of type 2 refers to second element, nth of type 3 second refers to third element. By this way, we can refer the exact uh, corresponding element. Okay. Now, I'll show you the other way uh, by which we can access the same. We don't need to give a class equal to list group. So, instead, we can give dev dot the class name. So if you give like this, this will also fetch you the respective element. And I can also replace with the uh, young child. So that we'll know. Okay. So this is the another way by which we can refer the corresponding uh, child. Okay. So this is the parent class equal to list group is a parent. We are refer trying to refer a child using nth child and nth of type. Right now i'll show you how to access using id okay so this is the uh, id name right so we'll put uh, instead of class we'll put id and just type in id here instead of now I am not able to move to the respective element. Let's see what is that uh, stopping me to access this particular element because it is not present inside a div. So it is present inside a, 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 a that is a hyperlink, right? So that I have to mention this uh, particular uh, element type with the whether it's an a or it's a div okay now we were able to access this uh, third element if i give two you should be able to access this particular uh, second element when i give one right definitely we will not be able to access this particular element because we in in first element we don't have in id we have a class right so that is why it is not referring so when i when i give four obviously it will fetch and i'll also show you so one more way 
to access this particular ID as, I, as we did by using CSS, right? Sorry, class, right? You can refer with using hash. This. See, we were able to access this particular one. What we are trying to do is, we are trying to refer a, a ID with using hash. If you use a class, we'll have to refer it using dot operator. If you are, if you want to refer a ID, we'll have to refer using hash. So, so this would help us to fetch this corresponding element. Okay. Now we have learned how to access a particular element using CSS selector that is using a class and ID. Now we'll, we'll see whether we are able to access this uh, area, this particular element. Okay, we have list of uh, mobile and uh, mobiles here, right? So we'll try to access any uh, particular element. For example, Sony Xperia. So I want to access this particular Sony Xperia. Okay, let's see whether we are able to access this or not. Okay, I'm trying to find a grandparent of it, any grandparent. So this is a grandparent under which it is present, right? See, you see, this is present under this. So we'll put dev um, id equal to like something like this. And under this, we have a class, different classes, right? So we are referring Sony Xperia. So one, two, three, four, five, sixth element. Okay, let me put the div class. Now here uh, I'll show you how to do a partial text. Uh, when we use XPath, we'll put that we, here. We don't need it. Okay. I'm rep referring a partial text here. Okay, so that is why we have used star here. Okay. So the, by this way, we can refer a partial text. Okay. N of child. Eight. So N child. Sixth element. So this is a sixth element. I'm trying, I've navigated traverse to this particular element. I'm trying to access H4 of this particular link. So here, we were able to access this particular uh, Sony Xperia text, right? We can also refer with uh, refer for a particular price also. Meaning, you'll have to give here a H5. When I put H5 here, it will point out this particular price. So what we did here is we have referred a grandparent. With that grandparent, I'm, I'm trying to identify the child of it and the child, and I'm trying to access this particular uh, price of it. Okay. Let me change as we did earlier, right? So let me change it as uh, ash for uh, ID. Okay. Now I'm able to access the 320. Here we cannot use a dot since it doesn't provide an option to refer using dot operator because since we are using partial text to search, right? So for this, we'll have to refer, uh, we'll have to use div class star equal to all. Okay, which mean, that means it refers a part, partial class value like this. Okay, so that's about uh, this uh, CC selector. And uh, in the earlier video, we have seen about XPath. In that, uh, we can directly refer any particular uh, text so they've given a text type which will help us to fetch the sony xperia any uh, text in a page meaning i'll show you xpath i'm talking about okay so in the last class you've seen about xpath so for in this i've referred the uh, text see i'm putting xperia z5 now we, we are able to access this this particular thing right so if I want to do contains also, I can put uh, partial text search, something like this. Okay. So this cannot be done using CSS selector. If I wish to do that, I'll have to 
mentioned using a particular uh, element thing only we cannot uh, perform text search using css selector so that is one of the draw drawback but that is not a main drawback uh, that i could say and one more thing uh, css selector is much faster in compared to xpath so we in real time situations right so we use uh, C css selector instead of xpath so with that we are uh, coming to an end of this session so i i hope you would have uh, learned uh, xpath and css selector earlier session we had uh, learned about xpath and now we have learned about uh, css selector please uh, go and uh, do some hands on using this uh, select uh, css selector as an xpath so you will come to know about uh, more things and if you have any doubts please let me let me know you can also provide your com uh, comments over there and i will try to solve those uh, queries and thank you so much guys for watching this video